Hello, welcome! Um, to give you some context, like, I was trying to do, like, a Let's Play. Uh, I was trying to capture the PlayStation, my PlayStation 4 in the, uh, audio differently, but it didn't work out that way, so I'm going to live react to my own gameplay. <laughs> yep. That's the plan. Or I got, I'm going to live react to it. Okay. And I was playing Yakuza, the remake. For the PlayStation will uh PlayStation Forward called Yakuza QE. Which is a high definition remake of the uh PlayStation 2 version. If you haven't played a Yakuza game, you really should. They're a lot of fun. It's part of the most uh, influential game franchise you've ever played. Alright, we're starting. Starting the game. Sweet. <laughs> dumb. I'm doing it. I'm committing to this bit. No, I actually did play this, and what happened is, is... Uh, the audio, I just didn't know. I don't know what happened to the audio. The audio just disappeared into the ether. And, like, I was like, what am I going to do with this, without this audio? And I thought to myself, uh, I'll just uh, live react to my own gameplay. And I use my PlayStation 5 to cap my PlayStation 4 to capture it. That's why you see the little Sega logo in the corner. I'm not like uh I'm not like super like bothered by it if I'm being honest, that little Sega logo. Because it, it does I think it also comes up in live streams sometimes, depending on the game. But whatever. It's no big deal. Because I was trying to, uh, because this is a game I wanted to play because I got the Yakuza in my remaster collection. I was like, I'm just going to play through all of them. Uh, I'm like, I can't live stream on the channel right now because it's SB it active in 24 hours, so I'm just going to react to my own gameplay channel. Re sorry, react to my own gameplay. Because reacting videos are pretty big on YouTube. And this is the start of the game. Actually, hindsight is actually pretty, uh, it's actually a pretty big red herring that the game starts out like this, with, with Kazume saying over a dead body like that. It's actually a great way to, um, to build suspense. And now, we go back to the past. We're now loading to the past. Ah, oh, here we go, man. Like, <laughs> looks like a child being pissed that he didn't get any McDonald's. Like, just with a setback like that. I know. I gotta say, uh, I think the best part of it, uh, Yukiza has always been, uh, Kazume. Kazuma. Like, Kazuma Kira. Kazuma Kira. I finally got the name right. Kazuma Kira. Um, it's because he's not like, um, he's not like, like, he's, he's not a good fit for the Yakuza. Yeah, we'll see how we continue on this video. Like, I don't know what that dude's clapping about, but I hope he's having fun. I don't know, I don't know how much Toner Mania in this, but that's probably a lot more than I have. Even if it's like 2 bucks and 25 cents. Or 250 if you got a lock of this monster problem. Look, there's no sex thought, sure. I don't know why he had I don't know why he had decided to point that out. So that kind of stuff. Maybe you should get into it. Can't try yourself. 
I guess a recommendation. I don't know. Is that thing people do recommend like sex toys to each other? I kind of I kinda like this, like, uh, you know, in this sort of these walking scenes, and, uh, yeah, I know you you probably had a few in, if you played, if you've probably been through, if you played the Grand Theft Auto, but I think Yakuza does it better because it kind of shows you the city, like, helps you get familiar with it, and as you walk around, like, the people walk, uh, react to you. I think it just sort of sets up the mood, you know. It's like the candle you set up before you, uh, Tell your wife you're cheating on her. But I, I think that's the reason why Yakuza games have been so compelling and such a. Even though they're games that haven't really sown. Sown in, sold in the States with like the same fidelity as something like Call of Duty or. or whatever. Put in this game here at time. But they stick with people because the characters are just memorable. And even when it, uh, in like, uh, like Kazuko Kari, Kazuko, Kazume, Kazume is like the staple that holds all that, all that together. So he kicks the door down. It's like, sorry to chop on so late. He's like, this dude's gonna be like, oh, please don't kill me. He's like, and Cosme is gonna be like, wait a minute, do you accuse like does that? Like, I'm, this is the first I ever heard about this. Like, I'm just here for the money, you know, yo, I am not interested in your life, bro. Because you see it coming up. His own choice is to get his ass kicked. What a wonderful choice, huh? I apologize for uh, screwing up uh, the Japanese language because my uh, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> like fun story in the past, like a. Uh, like, uh, I was eating a, a Thai restaurant one day, and like, uh, you know, they gave me some free food, and I was like, and the, the waitress told me to say, to say thank you for, uh, to say thank you to her, uh, to her mother in Thai. And she helped me practice it, and I, and when the time came, I completely butchered it. And she burst out of tears because I asked the random old lady, like, Hey, would you like to see, uh, see the 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 see the the see the smell of my penis? Because I completely butchered it. I can't remember what, what the greeting was, but it was just like a very pleasant, probably pretty generic greeting. You know, she stared at me like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And the waitress had a blast. She burst out into tears laughing. And when she explained the situation uh, to her mother, she whacked her finger at us and said, "No, to like to a best ability said like you two behave yourself." And went back in the, and we went about our day. That was a fun time. Because I just I butchered, I butchered that, I butchered it so hard and. I put her so hard, I should go to prison for it. Like, seriously. It's not the first time. Thank you. 
It's fun to do. Again, this planner trying to learn how to use chopsticks. He's basically trying to, use big, trying to teach me how to use chopsticks, and I just got a splinter from him. First time, first time it ever happened, apparently in the history of the universe. Actually, uh, Mike would talk about like the characters and stuff, like uh, uh, this little bar. Um, like a lot, of, like basically, like a lot of stuff happens in this little bar. Because Yakuza only really takes place in like one district, like uh, one district in like this city. Well, I don't know if it's like a, uh, I think a district best way to explain it, at least in, with my American sensibilities. You know, because we have like, because I don't know, like because like we have counties and towns, and counties and towns are can be different things, like. Depending on whatever, you know. Basically, I don't know what the proper answer is because of my American disabilities. But I'm just gonna call it district because uh, a little section of the, a little section or whatever to be easier. I don't know, it's just one of the things, it's like a, I didn't know what sitar was. Like, I knew the name, but I didn't know what it, like, well, I, I've seen one, I just never knew what the name of it was, right? So I was like, oh, that's a sitar, okay. So that's the thing, cool. Because I've probably seen the name like a thousand times, and probably don't remember it. What's ever mentioned? I can let's talk about the gameplay a little bit. The gameplay you use is a is a lot of fun. It's it's a uh, it's really like the game really wants you to learn everything, uh, learn all the combos and stuff, and learn how to play the game. And because um, there really isn't like a a bunk combo to do certain attacks. Because some things are situational, right? Like uh. A lot of Japanese games are like that, like Soul Calibur is like that. Because depending on which direction you grab your opponent from, it's the grab you're going to get, right? And the same thing is like Yakuza. And uh, yeah, it's it's fun gameplay. Like uh, like something like Arkham, like uh, the Batman Arkham games. Like you can jump around from opponent to opponent to opponent, just like like what was a flip of a button because it's kind of like the uh, gameplay in uh, Assassin's Creed. But you know this game wants you to be more deliberate. Now here's a fun fact. This guy uh, Majine, Majine, like Gora Majine, Majine. Majine? I call him Majine. In the dub for the first game, he was played by uh, Mark Campbell. And the dub is for some reason super cussy. Everybody cusses every 12 seconds. Because that was the trend back in the 2000s. When, yeah, be like 2000s, I think. Like, like late 90s, 2000s. When the, when the game first came out. Yeah, the first game for the PlayStation 2 had a dub, right? And, you know, because everybody at that time was looking for the, uh... Was looking for the, uh, Grand Theft Auto Killer. Because I think, uh, the third one came out and just blew everybody's mind. Uh, then San Andreas came out. Vice City and all that. And everybody's looking for the next, like, uh, GTA Killer. So, like, uh... So when it's when the first game was brought up to the states, there were people were just like, "We're going to put money behind this," and they put a du and they dubbed it, and they hired like all these famous voice actors like Mark Campbell and uh, and Mr. Brown from Reservoir Dogs, and a bunch of other people, 
and it tripled the budget of the game to the point where like uh, to the point where like the game didn't make any money because it didn't sell it sold pretty decently I think it sold like a uh, I mean some copies but because of the because of the dub the game wasn't profitable right so when they decided to bring the second game over they decided not to uh not to dub it and here you go. I agree, this is a pretty funny interaction. Because this is the first time, uh, uh well, like, Me uh, Megami, Megami is a fan favorite because he's the closest thing uh, this game has to, like, a, to, like, a deal or, like, a, or, like, a, a mean, a, like, a very meme character before memes with, like, a thing. You know, because like he's uh, trying to force uh, Kizumi to fight him, because he said he had no reason to fight him, and eventually he's going to be like, "Night, here's the link." Kiwasumimashita. Sono tsuyogari. どこまで続くかのデレアホクサ筋通すなんぞ言うて無理しとるだけやねんか痩せ我慢ちゅうやつや世の中数字の通らんことばっかりやそんな意地張っとったら体が持たんでどう取ってもらっても構いませんですが俺は自分の考えを変えるつもりはありませんええふん See how excited he is? He's like, yeah, man, I'm into it. I want to give you the reason to fucking fight me, bro. He's like, yeah, man, let's fuck. Woo, when the time is right, let's fuck. Ugh. I'll, 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 I'll find, like, the clip of, of like, uh, Mark Hamill playing that character and just stick it somewhere around here. <laughs> like always, you're as tough as nails. I knew you were, Kazuma-chan, but, uh, I'm not finished yet. Well, this is the part where you're supposed to laugh. Come on, why don't you give me a little laugh? <laughs> All right. I'm doing this because he disrespected you. All right, all right, if you say so. But uh, if you have kids of your own, you're going to have to teach them a little respect. Let's go. But I'm going to the bar, my friend. I don't know, I wonder how a bar like that works, because, like, they can't sit more than, like, 20 people. It might just be able to stay open 24 hours with, like, people trading shifts all the time. 
Nah, this is the point where, like, uh, where it seemed like uh, Kazume is going to get his own family in the, uh, the new Kiza he's working for. And the cheese, like, Nishike is talking shit, my friend. I was always really impressed by uh I was really impressed by like the care how well not impressed I think it's always it's always a really good idea when a game try to characterize their characters give them characters backstories and it's, it's really a game like this and like or the scene game really like I always appreciate it Because um, a lot of a lot of TV shows, movies, and whatnot, and comics don't don't really do it. I mean, I've uh, I can't think now. But I was reading this comic. Um, I did a trial for comicology for like a uh, comicologies. Like I was on comicology for like a month, and I read this comic uh, about like these Zama mutating after the war ended, nuclear apocalypse, all that fun stuff. And um, all the characters, like, they were all visually different, but character-wise, they're all the same character. Because they're all just, like, edgy, hardcore, like, with their teeth, with always talking to their teeth. You know, that frame with, like, uh, where they barely open the mouth, where they're just uh, uh, grinding their teeth all the time. With that, with, like, a frown or, like, a Determined look or whatever. Basically, they're trying to. Everybody's talking through their teeth and trying to be like dark and edgy. Which I don't know how anybody can understand anybody in a world like that. I mean, I don't know how you can have a conversation with somebody without moving a lips. Like, let me explain. Oh, Yeah, I'm going to eat a shutter cut. I mean, I don't, I don't know how anybody can make it. That's neither here nor there, but, you know, whatever. But the point I was trying to make was before I lost the pot. And that's where I pissed, and that is. It's like when you, uh, because it doesn't take much to uh, separate characters and make them feel like people. I think the problem is with like uh like anime like American dubs at least is that they use a lot of the same actors but they kind of play all the all the roles the same way like uh like the person who plays the uh, uh, Krillin in the Japanese version is the same person who plays um, Luffy in the in one in the One Piece sub right you know when you kind of hear it's like oh that sounds kind of like blah blah whatever her name is. But when she uh, plays these two different characters, she uh, put a focus on different words. It, it it's it doesn't sound like the same voice because it doesn't like play out like the same voice, right? So like when you see uh, uh, whatever the name of the dude who plays like uh, American Goku in the in the Funimation dub, when he plays other dubs, he just uses a Goku voice and it always sounds like Goku. It's not because the voice is similar because he play because he plays it and inflicts the words the same way and puts the same inflections on certain words or whatever. It just sounds like the same voice because it is the same voice. Like I have a speech impediment. And like uh, I have to switch words mid sentence, sen mid sentence to words I can say without butchering them. That, that's why I butchered that uh, tie. 
in the Japanese names of these characters. Like, I'm, I'm 100% sure, I'm, well, I'm not 100%, I'm somewhat sure that Kazume has the same voice actor as uh, Joel Troll, right, from JoJo Bizarre Adventure. But it, it doesn't, it sounds like, it sounds like the same voice because how deep it is, but it doesn't, but the performers are different. Well, that sounds like my fault either. It's like same voice actor, different performances. There. I don't know. I saved myself some time. Oh man, I, I, I gotta get her a ring, man. A ring? Oh, my name is French brand. Yeah, this is how she got the ring, uh, Yuria. Yuria? Yuria? Got the ring she was there wearing earlier in the, in the cutscene. I guess lost so easily and uh, like yeah I just the city hasn't opened up yet so it's got some places blocked off and I don't know why it was I'm trying to go that way but I get lost so easily I, I do love the look of this place. It, it looks like. Oh, there's a clown. Oh, man, I am. Like, throughout the game, yeah, you, there's like little challenges you can do. And you get like little combat points, and there's like little uh, passive abilities you can use. Or they're super useful. I just keep forgetting they exist because when it comes to this game, I, when it comes to games, I keep forgetting to uh, upgrade stuff. I went to The Last of Us without ever upgrading anything because I didn't know it had an upgrade system. I went through normal mode without knowing its upgrade system. Like so, because uh, because I'm an idiot. Like I'm a special kind of idiot. Though. I did the same thing with uh, well, I just uh, something similar with Final Fantasy VII. Like I didn't know how to get magic, so I just beat the game without, without I beat the game without using magic. I just use summons and lists like uh, potions and just regular attacks because I didn't know how to use magic. I just had the base, the base stuff to give you when the game starts. Like, no, I don't, I don't know. God, I have never bought any jewelry in my life. かしこまりました。贈り物でよろしかったでしょうか。あ、あ。その誕生日プレゼントですね。それでしたら、サービスで、お相手のお名前を。はい、ま、カズケ、カズメ。いや、いつも、いつも、いつも、いつも、いつも
Not characterization, man. You gotta make your character than characters. It doesn't happen on his own. ACX, wow, man. Ring is gone. Ooh. And that's when you gotta go out and start kicking ass, man. What's that guy? Get back the ring. My eyes gives you like bucket tissue. I know I'm uh, like do some more traveling, and if I get pickpocketed, I would never be able to find like find find anybody. Just so that's why we have to carry like a fifty pounds like get like a a, a wall of protector that's like fifty pounds and just wear around my neck. Yeah, that's the Sega Club. I think this, I think the Sega Club is a real place. If I find like a picture, I'll just stick up somewhere. But uh, yeah, like this, the Sega Club. It's uh, it's like I guess like a giant arcade, I suppose. I don't know. I know it's in a lot of Sega games. I know it's in the Virtual Fighter games. So I always had uh, the impression it was just this giant, like, arcade full of Sega games. Because I've seen pictures of like that five-story, that five-story, oh, that five-story like arcade a few times. Like, I don't know, I don't know why I thought he was there in, in that, like, like, take a shot every time I walk past him, because I've walked past him a few times. It's like, where'd he go? It's like, where did, like, he's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Uh, oh, there he is. See? Now that you're pop properly wasted... I would consider to stop playing the Steven like Decker can't find the guy who stole my uh, my digital ring in the video game drinking game because the because there's two more rounds and you'll be dead before the second round starts. I don't I never mind like the size of I never mind the size of this game because like it makes the space and the little space that you travel through all the time to uh, travel through and because it's the same place in every game except it it changes right in every game so it's something that that's both new and familiar every time you revisit like a Yakuza game and I kind of prefer that to like uh, just a very large open like fields that's like just empty. It's like when you look at uh, like I think the Skyrim map is probably too big. Because there's just a lot of walking. You know, and there's not a lot of like uh, I guess uh, key places that give you interest as you're walking. Because sometimes Skyrim does feel really empty. Especially when you're just walking around. I think that's why more people just fast travel to the major cities, to major places, and just work their way from there to get to the little places on the map that's been marked. It was like the the scaling system. 
Well, the, I guess the palace color says in that game. Uh, you can be perfectly fine for a long time and just get killed in one shot by like a wolf. For for no reason or just after killing like a giant or something. Yeah, this game wants really wants you to be more careful of the comic system. But it's really easy just to fall back in just the button matching. Bus button mashing. Just like do it. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Because I need to. Yeah. I guess uh, switching up to different. Uh, you know, different. It's Rush, Brawler, and. I keep saying body, but I don't think it's body in the first one. I don't want to keep going to body. But basically there's different reasons why we each of them in different situations. But I don't know, I'm probably not the only one who does it, but it's pretty easy to forget to switch them around. Because it, it's not a beat em up, but it's pretty easy to play it like one, right? And I don't think that's the fault of the game. I just, it's just, you know, you can tell people how to do something a thousand times, and it doesn't mean they're going to do it. I stole the ring, the ring for a lottery ticket. That pot. That's what I mean. The dude's like uh, chasing out that ring, man. Let's go get that ring for that girl. One way or the clown man I don't know I I have no sense direction I think I've never been because I would like to do some traveling more I would like to um, go in might do some interesting traveling if I had money to do so It'd be fun um like to but if I did I'd, I'd probably end up in in the country I wasn't trying to go to Oh, just going to Britain or end up in the Middle East. How that happens, I don't know. Just went east. Yeah. Now, actually, like, honestly, like, uh, story wise, I like this little ring mission. Because it shows, because he's putting a lot of effort into it, and that means he really cares, right? And that's really, um, you know, that shows that he really cares about her, you know. And that's why he's going through all this. And I think that's a very important thing. And I think this is a very important part of his character, you know. Kazume isn't like this. Isn't like he's stone faced, but he's cares about people he cares about like the people he cares about he, you know and you know and this is um, a way to establish that you know because uh Yeah, because it's, it's a man. Gotta say, Japanese is such a really pretty language. Oh, there's there's a buddy again, Shinji. Shinji. I don't, I don't know what Soplan is. 
Like, I don't know, I have to look it up, I don't know what that is. Like, no question, I man needs money. Is it for bad stuff? I won't pray. But it must be a pretty big deal if you're trapped with Kaz. This soul plan you want. Wow. I don't, I don't know what that is. Like, I really don't. Wait. Of course. Let me know. Tag you like her. Whoa. Man, that's a... That's a... That's a statement, my friend. I still have to look up to him because I have no idea what his soul plan is. What, what the hell are you talking about? I have no idea. It's gotta be something, I suppose. Oh man, I remember the first time. That was bullshit, man. I remember the first time I played this game. I was like, man, that's fucking bullshit. He raised the price on the on the ring. What's pretty popular, you know? Oh, uh, like I don't know. He's like being polite, man. Like I know it's actually. It's actually pretty interesting in this scenario because like uh like the the poncho boulder doesn't uh doesn't believe him he because he's remember IQ is like in Kazume, you know, he doesn't wanna just just take it because it's not who he is. So it's just a neat little scene where both sides are aren't wrong. Like there's no bad guy. It's just a shitty situation. And you get to see how Kazume reacts to it. In Trice Point is like a peaceful solution. Good. And that says a lot to his character. It's basically a uh, telling a uh, telling story th telling the story through gameplay. You mean because like as like the player, in a sense, even though you are basically playing Cosme and like well, you are playing Cosme and you're uh, kind of being forced to the scenario because this is something that Cosme would do, right? This is in character for him to do. So you're running around as him. It's basically like, you know, telling the story of the gameplay, right? Because the thing about like uh, something like Skyrim or like Rob earlier, like, you don't really end up with a character in Skyrim because it's not, your player character isn't really meant to be a character in Skyrim. It's just your avatar into the game, right? But in a situation like this, it's a game telling you, this is what Cosme would do, so this is what we're doing. And, you know... I should get her too, tonight's my night for Soap and Crow, or Soap and Go. Ugh. And I, still, I still need to look that up. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I think it's a good way of doing it. It's a good way to tell a story uh, using gameplay. You know, in, in the Rainbow, in the uh, Poncho Boulder, just, you know, finally looks at the ring and sees that her uh, year's name's on it. And he's like, okay. And gives it to him. Yeah. Like I said, you, you can see how this is a serious situation. There's really no asshole in this situation. No, no bad guy. Like no man, I, I can't, I can't, I can't have like stolen items in my, in my shop. It's against the wall. It really is. That's why, it really is. That's why pawn shop shoulders, uh, pawn like, uh, pawn shop border. You ever see like pawn stars? They actually where you got it from, you know. So they don't end up back doing uh, fleecing stolen goods.
That cake looks delicious. Have a little birthday celebration, right? I always wonder why people ask, ask permission to open up their presents. I don't know. I've seen it happen a few times in real life, too. Because for the longest time, I thought that was a thing that only happened in movies and video games books and comics make kids with manga oh see how excited she is it's like here you go She loves it, man. Exactly what she wanted from the person she wanted from. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind the use of flashbacks, flashbacks in this game. Because they, you know, they kind of help you too. Help you build like the bigger picture of the characters and the uh, the wants and the needs and all that stuff. <laughs> See, she got the she got the present from the person she wanted it from. This is a sweet moment, it really is. Now she's like, hey, next time you're gonna give me a ring. Mm -hmm. well, next time you, uh, uh, Sasaki, you're gonna give me a ring, okay? You're gonna want to buy a ring. Oh, Misikan, Misikan. <laughs> Can I say Mishka? No, I know it's not. I know it's not that, but almost just like some kind of, uh, Right about way of seeing Michigan. I was like, Misikin, Misikin, Misiki, Michigan, Michigan. Ah, poor Charlie. Hey, fast out drunk, or just fell asleep, or I just fell asleep. Like, I don't know, Kamasu, man. My god, um, Kamasu, Kimsu, Kid, oh my god, Kimsu, whatever. He probably does get drunk, the alcohol get drunk off of him. <laughs> oh my god, it comes. I'm just the worst, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Plain. Four o'clock. God, like in the morning? Yeah, it's like in Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm going to continue down this rabbit hole and let's have some fun. Okay, till next time, guys.
Thanks for watching.